that time of the year again. Admissions. And while all the fear, anxiety and nervousness may be the same, the process has changed. Instead of multiple interviews, all symbiosis colleges would now have a common admissions process with the GDs now being replaced by the reasonability test. So, what should you expect? What should you do? We, the members of the Ascent Relations team at SIDM Pune, set out to ask these questions to the renowned and experienced faculty and the students here. Join us for this series of videos for admission 2014. So from the point of view of current affairs, what do you think are the sources that one should be reading in order to gain that knowledge that they should be having for the interview process? I think firstly I should recommend Economic Times Daily, yes. uh, which is also as you know bread and butter once you get inside the man management school. Um, Economic Times Daily, uh, especially so the edits, because mm -hmm. that is where you get analysis, that's where you get opinions. Mm -hmm. Any of the pink papers will do, uh, yes. Business Standard will do, mm -hmm. Business Line will do fine. Financial Express will do. I think daily reading yes. now from today mm -hmm. to D day, mm -hmm. okay, is going to be very important. And you see, end of the day, the panelist is also going to think of the same issues which we read and we read papers every yes. day, right? So I'm not going to ask them something about some event which happened in 2011. That's mm -hmm. obvious. I'm going to ask them something which is right now, right here. Mm -hmm. So I think if they are up with whatever it is that I am reading, and the trick is to understand that I am also going to be shadow reading the same issues. Yes. So I think they have to be reading the financial dailies every day. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to make sure that you have a story, mm -hmm. it's a great idea to read up on a business mag. Mm -hmm. So it could be Business India, it could be India Today, Business Today. Make sure that you have a story and make sure you know the issue. Mm -hmm. right? So I think that is the strongest recommendation. I'll also tell you one more thing when it comes to reading. Um, very often, you know, it just comes up in an interview, what's your hobby? Mm -hmm. And a few people say, oh, I like to read. And you ask them, what's the last book that you read? Mm -hmm. And they can't quite figure it out, right? So uh, I would say, I mean, since you're asking me, what is it that they should be reading? Mm. I think make a list of the books you read and you enjoyed. Yes. Yeah, and make sure you can talk about it passionately. Uh, sometimes I feel that we all have an author somewhere who is very you. Mm. Try to identify that book which has given you your philosophy or mm. which identifies very closely with you. Try to identify an author who talks your language. Yes. And if then that is the book that you talk about during the interview, if the issue comes up, mm. then I think we have a game changer there. Yes, right? So when they read, let them read about broad spectrum. Mm. Let, let them also read on issues that there may not be recall. You know, mm. a favorite book somewhere, mm. a favorite guy somewhere, a musician somewhere. So make sure you prepare them. How academically driven do you expect the candidate to be when they are walking into the interview process or do you expect an all-rounder? Since you're asking me this question for a management school, I would say all-rounder. Mm -hmm. All-rounder definitely. Because an academic candidate is clearly not what the industry is going to be needing. Okay. And we're clearly here to prepare candidates for a good corporate life. Mm -hmm. right? So I would say that great academic credentials are definitely a plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But going ahead, I think to take the academic to the boardroom is what I would be preparing them for in yeah. their later life. And so I think an all-rounder is what I need here with me. Yes. Who knows his academics, but who has that ability to relate to something outside. Mm -hmm. And we're there to facilitate, obviously. Yes, but I think that inherent skill has to be there. Yes, Thanks a lot for being over here with us, Matt. It was a very insightful conversation. Thank you. Thank you.